Hey Cougars, welcome back. I'm Aiden. And I'm Madison. With your KTHS News. It's time for some more student shoutouts. Tyler tells Davis, thank you for helping a lady in the hall who dropped her papers. Aw, good job Davis. Eliza tells Ella, thank you for working hard in cross country. And Aiden tells Madeline, you're a great friend. We'll have more shoutouts tomorrow. Make sure you come out to the Fuddruckers on Crookside Forest Drive next Tuesday for the Robotic Spirit Night. Come between 4 and 8 p.m. and don't forget to tell the cashier that you're there for the robotics team. See you there. The one and only Mr. Bierke is here with a quick message. Hey guys, a couple quick announcements for you. You know, final exams are coming up next week. So a couple things I just want to remind you of, and you probably already know all this, but uh, please know you will not be able to leave during a class period, okay? So uh, if, if your parents need to check you out for some reason, it has to be at the end of a class period. So make sure you let your parents know that. Um, you know, we want definitely want to make sure that we're not interrupting any testing next week. Uh, also, just want to let you know tomorrow, of course, is uh, the last day of December dress-up days, and it's holiday PJs. So make sure you wear those holiday PJs tomorrow for December dress-up days. Good luck on those final exams next week. Make sure you're getting ready for those. Quick message for all seniors out there. Seniors, we would love to have all of that trash bag money turned in uh, before you leave for Christmas break. I know some of you may be delivering some to people during Christmas break, and that's fine. Turn in everything that you have uh, so that you get that off your plate. We want to get all that money turned in by the end of Christmas or before we leave for Christmas break. And if there's like four or five of you who have not picked up your trash bags yet, hopefully those are coming in here in the next day or two, and I'll let you all know when they're here. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't forget the holiday food drive sponsored by Life 18. Bring your donations to room 1117 by Friday or drop it off in one of the collection boxes. It's getting closer and closer to Christmas, so we wanted to know what your favorite Christmas song was. Count us down. Five, four, three, two, one. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeers had a very shiny nose. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is you, baby. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bell rock. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> Big deal in France. The food is very fancy. And we go to La Messe de Minuit. Not everybody does, but most people do it because it's, the songs are beautiful, the churches are beautiful. And then we come back, we have a night nice snack. And that, that's very important on 24. And then we open the gift only in the morning of the 20, 25, the morning. The Christmas morning is very important too because we have kind of tradition to to have uh, uh, l'assiette du mondion, in which we put all the nuts and dry fruits, biscuits, and we have a morning uh, celebration. Um, so on December 6th, I put my shoe on the window, and then St. Nicholas comes, and he puts presents and candy in it. Well, not in it, but beside it. Um, because it's a German tradition, I think. My name is Cash, and I'm in the ninth grade, and my Christmas tradition is that I open up a Christmas present on Christmas Eve every year. My name is Ethan Mann, and I'm in ninth grade, and my family tradition is I go golfing with my brothers and my dad on Christmas Eve. My name is Colin Kabalik. I'm in ninth grade, and my family tradition is to uh, sleep and eat. My favorite Christmas song is Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. I remember distinctly in elementary school singing this at a, at a Christmas recital, looking up the audience and seeing the old people's faces turn from smiles to frowns, uh, especially because of the lines such as, Grandma got run over by a reindeer walking home from our house Christmas Eve, um, you know, which, which does, uh, Grandma dies in the song, by the way, if you aren't aware. So, Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> you're so filming me, aren't you? Yeah. And you're going to put this whole thing in the Nathans, aren't you? No. I really don't like you. <laughs> When blossoms bloomed amid the snow upon a winter's night, then came the child of Christmas rose, the king of love and light. That's it for today, Cougs. We'll see you tomorrow. Masks up, stay safe, and as always, go, go Cougs. Cougs.